What's up, everybody? It's Rick from Tag Hill. Uh, I was tagged again by Josh from Frog Tag Sanctuary. Uh, it is the What Is Your Jam Tag uh, music tag. And uh, I really appreciate you tagging me in that, bro. That's awesome. And uh, I have to say I am a big fan of music, a big lover of music, and that is uh, pretty much every style of music. There's only a few styles that I don't like. Uh, and it would be easier to name the ones that I don't like, but I'm not going to get into all that. Um, for First and foremost, I'm a metalhead, and uh, I will always be a metalhead forever. Uh, my favorite band in the world is Iron Maiden, uh, but I'm also a big fan of death metal and stuff like that, and the really hard stuff, and black metal. Um, Sorry guys if there's any noise in the background. Uh, I got my niece and nephew here and they're just little guys and they drive me crazy with the noise and racket. I love them. Um, so let's see. I don't really have any music devices that I carry with me or anything. I, I have a few songs on my phone that I listen to once in a blue moon but not really very often. Uh, I don't listen to MP3 players or anything like that because I like to be attentive as to what's going on around me. Um, however, when I'm in my truck, I like to jam the music, and when I'm sitting at home, I like to jam the music. So uh, I'll go ahead and tell you some of the bands I listen to, and uh, we can go from there. So uh, obviously, I said Iron Maiden, big time. Uh, Cannibal Corpse, big time. Love the metal. Uh, Sepultura, love those guys. Uh, the old stuff, though. Uh, big fan of Emperor. Emperor is a uh, Norwegian black metal band. They don't uh, they don't do too much nowadays. They still tour every once in a while, but they've written some great albums. And uh, their first album is by far my greatest. Um, it's it's called Emperor. Uh, it was a self self debut and uh, it was kind of like a a dual album it was Emperor slash Wrath of the Tyrant so everybody just knows the album as Wrath of the Tyrant not Emperor sorry for that car guys uh, Emperor was a great band if you're not into the really dark or heavy stuff you probably wouldn't like them but their uh, their lyrics were just off the chain crazy and uh, they wrote a song on that album called I Am The Black Wizards. And uh, that song has a lot of meaning to me and I really like it. Uh, matter of fact, I like it so much that I want the lyrics tattooed. Uh, so yeah, big fan of Emperor. Big fan of uh, European black metal. Big fan of American death metal. I, I come from the San Francisco Bay Area, which is the home of thrash metal. So I like it fast and I like it hard. Uh, Death Angel, big fan of Death Angel. If you guys don't know Death Angel, you should look them up because they're pretty cool. Old school thrash metal band. Uh, I, I like uh, I like some country. There, there's a couple country singers that I really like. David Allen Coe is probably my favorite country singer. He does a song called uh, Long Haired Redneck. Long Haired Redneck. Uh, I've been a fan of him for forever. Uh, like Conway Twitty a lot. Uh, I'm into a lot of the, uh, like I said, classic piano. I like that. Uh, I like a lot of the Middle Eastern and Egyptian style music. Uh, I love the sitar, and I'm not talking about like the 60s psychedelic guitar or sitar. I'm talking about like actual Middle Eastern sitar. That to me is just, it's a very romantic music and I like it a lot. Um, and I tried to incorporate that when I used to play guitar all the time. I tried to incorporate that into uh, my style of playing. Uh, maybe sometime I'll record uh, one of the songs that I had came up with and uh, show you guys it. But like I said, you know, I don't, I don't mess around too much on guitar anymore. And when I do pick it up, I just end up getting frustrated and I put it back down. But, uh, I really, 
really dig music and there's I mean I like I said I could go on and on and on about music all day long um, I do like some rap you know rap from when I was a kid I, I like and uh, you know like Dr. Dre Eminem stuff like that uh, Bay Area rap groups like uh, Mac Dre Mac Mall E40 you know those guys um, too short really into stuff like that uh, not the biggest fan of rap though uh, mostly I just like, you know, heavy metal, but I also have, you know, that softer side where I like the more classical. I love bagpipes, anything bagpipes, and I'm into it. Um, but then again, I'm half Irish, so I mean, that makes sense. Um, I love folk music, you know, I love so much music, it's not even funny. Right now in my car, uh, let's see, I got some Children of Bodom, which is, they're a great band from Finland. Uh, guys are looking to check them out, check out the album Hate Reader. That's a really great album. Um, I got some Cannibal Corpse in there. I got some Iron Maiden in there. I got some Metallica and Justice for All. Uh, what else? I got some Kid Rock in there. Uh, I like Kid Rock. He, uh, his first album, uh, what is it, American Badass? He wrote a song on there called Only God Knows Why, and that song has a lot of meaning to me. I mean, a real lot of meaning. And uh, I actually like that song so much that I want to do the trailer to my channel based on that song. And uh, hopefully someday I can figure out how to make a trailer for my channel and get that up. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there, there's so much music I could say. I could go, I could sit here and go on forever. You know, Motley Crue, you said you like... Uh, Alice Cooper, bro. I love Alice Cooper, man. Uh, I remember back, what was it? I think it was like 1987. Uh, he came out with the album Trash. And uh, there was a song on there called Poison. And uh, any of you guys who know Alice Cooper know that song. And uh, I was just a little kid, and that chick was dancing in the leather uh, lingerie. And I was just, like, I was stuck on the TV, like, oh my goodness, you know? But yeah, I could go on and on forever. Judas Priest. Uh, yeah, I'm also a big fan of the blues. I love B.B. King. A lot of people don't know it. They think of him as classic rock. But Jimi Hendrix, James Marshall Hendrix, uh, he really wasn't classic rock. If you pay attention to his earlier stuff, he was into the blues very much and very much inspired by B.B. King. Uh, and he was an excellent blues guitarist as well. Um, Stevie Ray Vaughan, love him. Uh, George Thorogood, ACDC, uh, the list goes on and on and on forever. Uh, and not only was I a fan of ACDC with Brian Johnson, but I'm one of the original fans with Bon Scott. Um, but yeah, I, I could go on and on and on forever. So I think I've given you guys an, an interest or an intro into what I like of music. So uh, I'll go ahead and tag three people. The three people that I'm going to tag is uh, my nephew, Tactical Weapons and Other Stuff. Uh, he's an awesome kid, and uh, if you guys don't know him, go check out his channel. Sorry for the cars, guys. Uh, I hope you like his content, and I hope, uh, I hope he does this tag because I want to hear what uh, his style of music is. Because I know, he, you know he's young, so he's evolving. Also, uh, Jen and Justin from Guns for Fun, CA, Jen and Justin, uh, two great people. I love their channel. Um, they, they're, they're amazing, amazing people. And, uh, I would love to hear what you guys are interested in. Uh, I noticed the, uh, Cottonmouth Kings tattoo, Jen, and I think that's awesome. Uh. Cottonmouth Kings, I think, are a pretty good, uh, pretty good band out of California. I like them. Um, so, yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys uh, jam to. And uh, Aaron Nelson, because I know he's a metalhead as well. I'd like to hear some of the bands that he jams to. Uh, so, yeah, Tactical Weapons and other stuff. Guns for Fun, GCA, Janet and Justin, and Aaron Nelson are the three channels that I tag. I'll put them down in the description box as well. I'll put a couple links to videos on YouTube 
uh, for some of the songs that I really like, and uh, I hope you guys will uh, check them out. Like I said, you know, I'm mostly a metalhead, so all those songs are going to be, you know, metal songs, and uh, I hope that uh, if you guys do check them out, you like them. Uh, so, all right, guys, this is Rick from Pack Hill. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and remember, my friends, in order to thrive, you need to strive to survive, and I'll see you later.